After the accident, family members noticed something was not right, and they shared their concerns with hospital staff. For legendsoffaith.org, I'm Rob Cutter. Laura was a young and vibrant woman with a bright future ahead of her. She was studying to become a teacher and was excited about the opportunities that lay ahead. One summer, she decided to take a break from her studies and go on a trip with a small group of friends from Indiana to Michigan for a Christian retreat. All the students were part of the school's music department at Taylor University in Indiana. After a great week of fellowship and spiritual growth, the group left the retreat to return to Indiana. It was dark and raining on the return trip. As they were nearing Indianapolis, the joy and happiness from the week before turned into a tragedy that would change lives forever. At around five in the morning, the van they were traveling in collided with the truck. The collision resulted in multiple fatalities. Laura and her friend Whitney, along with several others, were seriously injured. With the chaos of the accident, mistakes were being made. Laura was in her hospital room, all wrapped up from head to toe from her injuries and trauma to the head. Her parents, Don and Susie, were there at her side holding her hand talking to her and praying over her. In a different room, Whitney's parents were saying goodbye to their daughter and planning for a funeral. For the next month, Laura's family was by her side nonstop for her healing, believing she would make a full recovery. But what happened next would shock the world and test the faith of everyone involved. Weeks after the accident, family members noticed that their daughter was exhibiting behaviors that were uncharacteristic of her. They began to notice that something was not right, and they shared their concerns with hospital staff. The family noticed Laura's teeth were different, as well as a navel piercing. When Laura finally woke up from her coma, she said her name was Whitney. After DNA testing, it was confirmed that Whitney was in fact alive and Laura was the one who died on the evening of the accident. In the aftermath of the crash, there was a huge mix-up by the hospital identifying the victims. The two young women bore a striking resemblance to each other and their injuries were so severe that it was difficult to tell them apart. At a press conference, a hospital spokesman apologized to the families for their terrible mistake. The reactions of both families were crushing. The Seracs, Whitney's family, had to accept that their daughter, whom they had mourned for the past five weeks and had a funeral for, was indeed alive. While on the other hand, Laura's family, the Van Rins, had to come to the reality that the person they were praying over for the last five weeks was Whitney and accepting the fact that their beautiful daughter was already dead and buried. In the days and weeks following the revelation, the Van Rins publicly forgave those who made the mistake. They spoke openly about their faith and how it was helping them cope with their loss. They also showed kindness and compassion towards the Serac family, offering their supports and prayers. In the years since the accident, both families have continued to rely on their faith to navigate the challenges of life. Laura's family established a scholarship fund in her name, while Whitney's family set up a foundation to support individuals and families affected by traumatic brain injuries. Whitney underwent multiple surgeries and had to relearn basic skills, such as walking and talking. She said that she can't imagine what the Van Rins went through but she was so grateful to be alive and knowing that God has a purpose for her. The story of Laura Van Ryn and Whitney Serac is an emotional one marked by tragedy, confusion, and faith. Faith can be a source of comfort and strength in times of tragedy. 
It can help us to find meaning and purpose, even in the darkest moments. For more stories like this, and for ways to donate, visit us at legendsoffaith.org.